Adios mundo cruel. Bye cruel world. If I don't see you guys, I love you all. Take off. So I made it here to the Unten vantage point and as you guys can see it is incredibly stunning right now Like the Sun is shining the cicadas are chirping and this is considered one of the absolute best vantage points Like in Okinawa because the Kori bridge is so beautiful So if you guys are ever here, I would definitely recommend checking this out and taking a bunch of Instagram worthy photos mm -hmm. Well, that was fun. I've been up since like 5 30 in the morning because I got up to do my hair but as you can see it just went back to its natural state. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not even gonna fight with the humidity anymore. My hair is going to live in this state for the rest of my time here in Okinawa. So today I'm going to Ishigaki, but first I'm going to get a pedicure because legit, your girl has not had a pedicure in like four years because like for whatever reason, it's super expensive in Korea. It's like $70 for a pedicure. And I'm like, girl, I ain't gonna pay that much for a pedicure, but. I'm going back to one of my old haunts here and they're gonna do really pretty nail art so I cannot wait. Um, right now I gotta drive back so it's gonna take a while. I'm at the airport and if you guys feel like I've been doing a million things at once, it's because I have. Right now I'm waiting for my flight to Ishigaki because tomorrow is gonna be a, another really long day. But I'm really excited because the last time I was in Ishigaki I was so sick. I had like a and then I think like a typhoon came. Whole trip just wasn't what it was supposed to be. So this time I'm gonna do Ishigaki right. What is sleep? I've literally been up since 5.30 this morning. I just boarded the plane and I'm breaking out. I'm a little sunburned. I need to wash my face. But I've got the window seat. I'm right above the wing. Girl, this 50 minute flight to Ishigaki is gonna be hella lit. There's no clouds, the weather's great, and um, can't wait to show you guys. Good morning everybody from beautiful Taketome Jima, which is a smaller island off the coast of Ishigaki. Right now I'm here at the bike route in Toll Center because the best way to see Taketomi is via bicycle because like all the roads here are really really small. As you can see they're like really tiny and I have like my map here so I'm gonna do some exploring, take some photos and I hope you all enjoy Taketomi as much as I'm going to. Taketomi is about a 15 minute ferry ride from Ishigaki and it's famous because there's a song in the Uchinaguchi language called Asa do Yunta and it's about this woman who was very beautiful and had many suitors but because she didn't want to leave her beloved Taketomi and go onto the main island of Ishigaki she rejected them all and also Taketomi is famous for its suigyu or water buffalo rides so if you have a chance definitely do that while they sing to you old Okinawan folktale songs Unfortunately, when I was coming back from Taketomi, the weather actually got really dark and it started raining. So I decided to stop over to a traditional Okinawan restaurant and have some Goya Champuru. For those of you guys who don't know what it is, it's made with, with an Okinawan bitter melon. And it's supposedly really good for you because it's packed with vitamin C and it's got tofu and a bunch of greens in it. And I just absolutely adore it. As soon as the rain came, it passed because as you can see, it was like super blue and beautiful. I kind of had a feeling it would do that anyway. So it was literally pouring rain like not even 10 minutes ago, but I was actually so tired because I've been out and about like super early every day, like since I've gotten here to Okinawa. And I was driving on the road and there's a lookout here. And this is so stunning. I believe what's right here is Kabira Bay. Now Kabira Bay is famous because it's the first place in the world that was able to cultivate and mass produce black pearls. So Ishigaki in particular is quite famous for the black pearl. Just so you all know, I'm being that tourist and I'm gonna buy a black pearl. And also I always said that I left part of my heart in the ocean in Okinawa so I feel like it was only fitting for me to buy a black pearl and bring part of the ocean with me. 
The pearl that I chose in particular had been in the ocean for six years and the way the Ryukyu pearl works is that they give you a certificate of authenticity and it shows the grade and the quality of your pearl. And actually right behind the shop is the pearl farm in the Kabira Bay where you can see how they farm it and even go on a glass bottom boat tour but I opted out of that because I was actually more interested in going to the Hirakubu Lighthouse. Now, the Hirakubo Lighthouse is an observatory spot at the northernmost tip of Ishigaki Island. The scenery from the Hirakubo Lighthouse is grand and you can often see beautiful scenes such as a clear sea and the small islands right off of the northern tip. So one of the fun parts about Okinawa is just kind of finding like beaches that nobody goes to. And right now this beach is kind of off the beaten road. It's on Google Maps, but the only person was here was this old surfer guy and this beach guys is incredible and honestly i like to live my life with sandy toes sun-kissed skin and beach wavy hair literally it was so relaxing to sit in the water by myself and as you guys know i had a knee injury because i had gotten hit by a car and to be in the ocean was actually quite therapeutic for me and to also watch the sunset because that was one of my favorite things to do while i lived on okinawa Good morning everybody. Today sadly is my last day here in Ishigaki and I just saw the most stunning sunrise. I'm here at Tamatorizaki Point which is one of the best lookouts here on the island and also it's great for watching the sunrise because it's situated on the east side. So if you guys want to see a super gorgeous sunrise like the one I just saw, I highly recommend this point but come early and there will be like nobody here. So I originally was not gonna get up and I was gonna sleep in, but then I woke up at 5 a.m. and I was like, eh, I can't sleep anymore. So I packed all my stuff, threw it in the car that I'm renting right now and just like drove up here ASAP. And I'm so excited I did because the sunrise was breathtaking. And now I gotta hurry up and drive to the airport because my flight is at like nine and I gotta fill up the tank and then return the rental car, so. I'm sad to leave Ishigaki. It's so beautiful here. Adios. Hey, children. It's been a real treat. I wish I would have stayed longer. Next time, definitely gonna do that. to get up on a plane to go back to Souru, as the Japanese say and thank you all so much for following me along on this Okinawa vlog I hope that you fell in love with Okinawa as much as I have and that one day you will visit and if you don't I hope you suffer from FOMO for the rest of your life so leave me a comment down below on what you guys' favorite moment or part of this trip was and I will talk to you lovelies later Gina Bear signing out Tell me where you wanna go Let me take, let me take you there You see I've been around the globe I've seen a lot, seen a lot, babe But I wanna see what's above I wanna see what's below